and welcome back to some pizza shop fun so we have money extracted out which will be useful in a moment but it's something we should always do to the system never i mean i'm very no primitives which if you read my blog at all you will know that uh so i get rid of them we do still have description hanging out as a string right well that that will go away but we don't want to force it we want to see how it's used to determine how to get rid of it. All right, we need to be able to add toppings. See, add topping to pizza. That's what we need to do. We already, we can get the price of the pizza. Now we need to add a topping to the pizza. We also get the description. So really, we got this, this, well, we got this one, this one, this one. We don't, we can't add a topping yet. We kind of have this one. Once we, once we add a topping, it'll change. And same with description. So, anyway, let's keep going. Alrighty, money should exist. Um, <clears throat> we're going to extract class for that. We're going to call it money tests. It's not really money should exist anymore. So let's go ahead and fix that. This money should return formatted value. <clears throat> there we go. Let's kick that in. Nope. We want to move that to another folder so that we can get it in our tests. Yes, that is where we want things. <clears throat> okay. Um, and we don't need this anymore. So what did I just do? Things. Way more than I probably needed to. And to get things committed. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna call this some safer factoring. Uh, <clears throat> we'll move money test into test folder okay so the cool thing about the art of those get notation now i can show it um simple simple eh, ooh, new stuff simple uh, just test manipulation and yeah uh testing 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 ah oh, that's that if i was doing code reviews i would want to pay a lot of attention to this one because i did some unsure stuff. I did a lot, right? It's got three characters. Everything else, I felt, I mean, ignoring the screw-ups early on, um, I felt it's pretty good, pretty safe. <clears throat> it's a little bit big. Oh, it's all tests, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Out of the money class, that is a feature, so cool. Um, so we now migrate it to use money, not primitives. It's a refactor, because, yeah, so anyway. Uh, this is what it does for us, is it allows us to isolate risk. It's the way I, I've been describing Arlo's Get Notations, is it's a way for us to identify risk in our changes. When we make very small changes, we can identify safe things, and we can start to say, yeah, I'm not sure, or it's like, hey, new stuff could be broken, and we can get down and say, this, I don't trust this. Like, others should pay attention to this kind of stuff. Useful. All right. Anyway, see, we got unused usings. There's a way to make it do that automatically. Uh, but I don't know it offhand, off the top of my head. <clears throat> it's also nice to have to. Okay. Anyway, let us go ahead and oh. we want to remove topping. We want to add topping. Skipping ahead there. Uh, what do I need? I need. Uh, I need toppings, right? I need topping. And so this test is not the test we want. What I want is a new topping, and it's going to take <coughs> some value and some description. Right now, we just need it to exist. So we're gonna create our topping class. I know I'm gonna be changing things, so I'm not gonna care about the abstract at the moment. Uh, this is going to be the <clears throat> 
percentage, and that shows our description. Oh. All right, <clears throat> popping should exist. Uh oh, fingers are getting off. <clears throat> Not really a price. This is a cost. On. So if we get one money, how much does it cost? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. No, uh, it should return a money, money, um, actual. <clears throat> so it's the source money and our actual. Should be 10 cents. So this is a <clears throat> actually because I put five, it should be 50 cents. Okay. Popping should exist. Should be 50. Um, I'm actually going to. Uh, can I get mine this? Can I? Neat. Okay. That's cool. <clears throat> so what I want to do now, and I know I need a description. Which is why it's here, even though I don't need need it night right yet. Uh, topping should exist. Topping should cost percentage. Percentage. Okay. Uh, let's just return new new money. Point five. I would kind of expect that to pass, honestly. Ah, okay then. Sounds uh, reasonable. <clears throat> yes, excellent. It is uh, passing now. My headphones have a weird buzz. I really hope it's not screwing up the actual recording. But we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> so that's just make pass. Hard coded TDD for the win. All right, so now we're going to do source. Dot, right, this is a, a we're updating money. Money needs now <clears throat> to have a fractional thing. So we're going to do a test. Um, we're going to multiply. Should. Uh, Uh, if we multiply, it should return the multiplied amount. Sure, sounds like a plan. One, don't really care. It's our subject, subject dot multiply <clears throat> by, oh, sure, point 0.5. Oh, 5 point. Visual Studio likes to help. We get a money back. This is our actual, and then we have a string of S money. I like how I thought actual said money and typed amount. Go brain. Let's see actual, um, and then S actual should be one five. No, should be. Dollar sign zero point five zero. Okay, that is uh, what we want there. Fantastic. Now we give it the method. Money double. The multiple. And we return a new money of amount times multiple. Okay, build everything. 
seems green, test is passing. Okay, so now we can go back to our merchant tests and do uh, source.multiply percentage. Does it still work? Fantastic. <clears throat> and that's our monies. That's how much our toppings cost. Topping should cost a percentage. Okay. And now we kind of need a pizza with topping. Shit, I don't need topping exist anymore. Let's go ahead and move this. Oh. We need to extract this. New class. And this is going to be toppings. Topping tests. That's the only one we have so far, so fantastic. Uh, oh, it's up here. Eventually I'll remember what I'm doing, but it sounds like a hard thing and I don't want to. <clears throat> Okay. Our pizza should now cost more with topping. So we are going to <clears throat> add new new topping point five two point one. Point one and does matter. Okay, a topping, a topping, a topping. Now I <clears throat> so TDD says I would just track this in a variable. I know a little more than uh, that. I know more. Oh, oh. That's going to bite us. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not concerned uh, right now. Create field topping. It is a list of topping, toppings, which is new. We'll get it in later. We're just getting things passing. And not topping. We want emergent tests. Oh, that's where we're at. There it is. We're in the right spot. Excellent. And it's not description, but our price, which is, should be a money. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to shift this to be money because I kind of like how it was going with that string actual. There we go. And it should be 1.10. It's really risky doing the ones because everything's there. Let's do two. No, I just can't add together. That would be the TDD way. Just add it up and hey, it uh, works. Um, yeah. So I'm shifting a little bit to make sure. So pizza should return correct price with topping. Um, it doesn't. Interesting. Kind of expected it would. Oh, <laughs> uh, 220. <clears throat> All right, I kind of expected wood, but uh, I was an idiot because of that. Because we're just adding a topping, our price is not being determined by the topping. I can change it to read only. See, I am just cranking along. I don't pay attention to this well. I'm actually going to. Uh... How do I? Ah, here we go. Go ahead and unstage those. This is the feature. We'll add multiply shin to money. All right. Okay, and I can actually commit these now. This is what we do. We are adding. Well, it's failing, so I'm not going to commit that. 
Ah, it's never queried. Okay. Now, <clears throat> price. Yes, let's go ahead and kick this to a statement body. See, test commit revert would kill me. Though it would force me to be better about this kind of stuff. I'm just going to toppings dot sum of, you know what? I don't know. Now let's do for each. For each topping in our toppings. Uh, how do I accumulate money? Oh, money doesn't have an ad. I need a money ad. I need the ability to add money. <laughs> Our accumulator dot add <clears throat> I'm doing mutation I normally hate mutation but uh, that's what I got right now um, and this is going to take our price okay so let's add uh, we're gonna generate this in our money object money add uh, I'm just going to do other because that's a good one. Now I'm going to put this in the money tests. That add should add. Add should add. Nice and simple. It's kind of obvious. New number four. Should be near money five. Yes, money. Hello. Oh wow, I am 17 minutes in. Whoopsie. Sorry about that, folks. Um, I like the code. I yeah. Let me let me fix the uh, problems here. Error list. Got a money. Return new money. Other dot amount plus this dot amount. I just you backwards, it won't work well if uh, we do negatives. So there we go. New money, this amount. What's still failing? Okay, built. Um, ah, because I didn't actually do. Accumulator bits. Uh, huh. I'm really breaking stuff. Well, that, that, oh, wait, no, popping cost, oh. Yeah, what? Huh. I don't know why it's breaking. So I'm going to stop and then we'll dive into debugging this in the next video because this has gone on way, 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 way too long.